that's this is gonna be interesting. Corin's been rising in the tier list lately. That's interesting. I remembered um didn't to work with the game launch. Corin's Nair is very good. It is a very good Nair. A lot of Corin's moves just have so much time that they're out, and the fact of how much space they take works well, it's very good. They have some great combos. A little bit hard to kill with Corin. Yes. A little bit hard. If you space it good, then you can... You can, you can get to the percentage where you yeah. can kill easily. Corin can kill you at 70 at half side of stage with a um, tips, forward smash. Tips tipper. forward smash, yeah. Uh -huh. What it's is that name? <laughs> what? Yeah, these names are going to fill up very quickly on this switch. Oh, are you? So okay. Just so that way you guys aren't, like, beating into each other's mics, I just want to try and see how the center is. No, I will not do that. I <laughs> 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 just heard my dumb laugh from a distance of somebody listening to the stream. That's fun. <laughs> That's fun. Screwmop is having his Don't losers match right now in one of the other ones. Where's the bracket? Do you know? Uh, it should be in the Smash chat somewhere. Is this it? Let me see. Okay. FD. They choose an FD. And it's Terry Corn, I believe. Oh, they're going back? Okay. I'm playing Sneaky next. That's interesting. <laughs> Jungle James. What match is this, do you know? Uh, I'm not sure what the match is. Try me out versus Neo. Mine is, mine is doing it. Yeah, it was beeping there. earlier, too. Yeah, okay, then we'll swap here. You plug Three, yours in. Okay. Two, one, go. Power wave. Already, Corrin is using that range to his advantage. Oh, her. Also the correct skin. Female Corrin is best Corrin. That was really close to... Yes. I'm seeing a lot of nares, a lot of forward nares. That almost killed. Yep. Oh, oh, what a turnaround to kill. I, Neo doesn't fight a lot of Corrin's. I don't think he knows the matchup. Okay, that power wave at ledge is going to be a great goal. Oh! Hey, hey, wow. We're right back into it. That's a great karate punch at ledge. Very good space about these aerials, though, from Try Me Out. Mm -hmm. That was really good. Good rate. Mm -hmm. no, this uh, Corrin also knows the many ways you can get out of the pin. Oh, that was a good call out. Not only that, but using it from the ground, it is invincible with the special input. Terry is at go. This is very scary. And like you could, yeah, you could just die uh, getting busterable for power guy. Mm -hmm. Power guys is kind of uh, easy to call out though. Correct. The double, uh, the double tap. And it has almost no lag on the shield, so. The opponent can grab it very, very quickly. Yep. Being a bit more sparing with it, maybe hitting a jab first or even a nair into it and landing is probably a better game plan. Okay, try to go for the two frame. I don't even know if that worked. That will work. I see, uh, I see him using jab-jab into Buster Wolf a lot, but that's not true. 
It's not true, but it does work a lot. Yes. Uh, if, if you shield, in, if you just press shield, you'll get out of it. I just didn't know that. Yeah, because um, it's not a grab. I believe, uh, I believe uh, forward tilt into Buster Wolf is true, though. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Great karate this corn punch did is not even just care. working right now. Using the back air for movement, interesting. It does work. Okay, a lot of spot dodges. This is dangerous. Like it, it's okay. go now, and corn is at eighty percent. Gotta be more sparingly with those. Although pressures. if okay, oh, the there we go. He t oh my god, he uh, almost lived. He had great DI as well. <laughs> he just kind of let it rip. The corn was playing so passively that maybe having an aggressive option like that might have actually been a great yeah. idea. Yeah. I'm also not sure if Neo is aware that Buster Wolf has Buster Wolf. Probably not. We'll go right through that corn corner. Yeah. Let's see where they go. Oh, we're definitely not going to the blue fight. Small battlefield. This might be the first time we've seen Small Battlefield on stream. Only because it seems to like a lot. This is a great uh, Terry stage, though. Yeah. This is also not a terrible stage for. Okay, I we get to see the Aegis. This is definitely a much better stage for Aegis than it is for Corrin. Yeah. Pyramith is also just a better character than Corrin. <laughs> And we get one wing immediately with aggression. It's not pain. Uh -oh. Yes. You can tell that he plays a lot of fighters. Terry really wants these trades too because Mithra is not dealing as much damage as he is. I kind of think Pyra might be better for what he's trying to do. Yeah. Simply because Pyra has a bit more range. Also has an actual projectile that can Correct. actually reach him. Let's see how this goes. Okay, we're on, we're on ledge. Yeah, there yeah, we that go. That side special from Pyra is obnoxious. You could, he could have stopped that recovery right there. Very easily. Pyra down air is probably one of the best down airs in the entire game. Yeah. It's a Marth down air, but extremely powerful. It's huge, and it kills. It's pretty gross. Okay, actually switched to Mithra there. Got him to ledge and hit him a little bit faster than Pyra would have, so not a bad idea. I'm not sure that Mithra is the pick right now, though, because of how high Terry is. There not we sure. go. Wow, great read. At 197, though, literally... If, if, he, if he gets touched, he will die. Yes. Terry is way too... Uh, throw will not kill, though. Yeah, Terry's throws are not good. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. Great crack shoot. Good pressure out of that. He was predicting oh. at that time. But he needs the kill, not more damage. Yes. Going for a throw right now is not there a... There we go. go. Good dodge attack. Oddly enough, Mithra is not really... Oh, that's unfortunate. Terry with his bad that might recovery. Cost him the stock, but then it cost him the game. But yep. this is Terry, and he does have the use. Of Go can't. He might be dead. That's a dead Terry. Oh no, he's, no, fine, he's fine. He's fine. She she him. helped him. She helped him there. Great patience from here. Oh, good grab. Try meow is really playing in his zone right now. He could just kill uh, Terry right now. If Even he a forward tilt with match. Pyro will kill. Yeah. Great down tilt into up air. Terry has go, but it might not matter. Maybe should have went for a Buster Wolf. There's a power geyser. Great power geyser. This is still both Terry does way too much damage though. So. Oh, bad dodge to ledge. Didn't quite hit it. Oh, and there wow, we go. Wow, the Pyra up air takes it. Pyra should uh, not Pyra. Mithra should very easily be able to edge guard Terry as well. Uh, yep, Mithra, Mithra up air does not kill like that. So. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Pyra's moves are huge. They're massive. Mithras. Mithras are small, but they're very quick. Pyra yeah, is very one. commanding when she's out. Yes. Very, very commanding. There's definitely some moves that Pyra kind of needs better moves for, but, like, I would only say that if they were different characters. Somebody else want to take commentary? I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah. Are they gonna go to the same That's characters? Pyro Mithra. What? <laughs> um, it changes, yeah. Yeah, so it normally it's blue. No. No. There's like, you can set it down to be blue or pink, and I, I forgot when, but I had said it. So it's going to be Terry Mithra again. <laughs> Alright. What's up, gamers? So, uh, this is game three. Yes. Between the two of them. Uh, Mithra oh, Terry. Oh, this is a commanding lead already. Mithra just gets in your face and just kind of uh, oh. gets all over you. And he, I mean, he probably could have edge guarded there. Mithra is very good at that. Yeah. I think uh, one thing that Mithra has that Corrin really doesn't is just those really really fast aerials. Yes. Uh, and oh, we're he, really seeing dead? this no, no way not that now. Oh, oh my god, caught dead him now. This is the difference. If you had held down while you're recovering there, your legs are then invincible. So then you don't get hit by that forward smash there. So that's just an unfortunate flub for Mio. Is he gonna carry him off? Could be. Oh my god, we're just he's not he is breathe. reading Neo like a book. It's that DLC diff, you know? <laughs> They're both DLC. <laughs> I know, but this is DLC Fighter Pass 2. All oh, right. He's even dlc Yeah. We have extra DLC. I mean... If Pyro lands an F-Smash there, he would die. And Trimiel was not very confident going oh, to Aegis for this okay. tournament. Yeah. And so it's crazy to see uh, this like confidence sort of come back. Because they didn't think they were going to do very well with the Aegis, but it's putting in some work here. And I mean, even if Terry can try and get in, uh, Aegis can just activate Force Knight, and you're like, alright, what are we doing here, right? Yep. <laughs> like, we haven't seen, I don't think, any Foresights come out so far, but I mean, this is night and day from the core I'm match. definitely not using Mac against Trimio. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a, yeah, it's, it's just a solid F tell. I go for that down air every day of the week. Is he dead? That, yeah, that's, dead. that's a dead parry. That is a burned, incinerated, charred parry. And that is a convincing game three. 2-1 going to try me out is going to move on to winner's top eight. Neo Very impressive. Knocked down to losers. That's right, and we'll have to see. That uh, was crazy. Neo is actually a pretty.